Okay, this is a follow-up to that video that I did about the uh, little motor generator that uh, I was trying to get results like that one that was shown on YouTube. And uh, it's really similar but not alike. And they wanted, uh, several people want a circuit diagram. And I just fiddled around with these coils until I got it to work. And it's probably not right, but it's, uh, this is exactly how I did it in the other video. I'm just calling this a motor generator. Um, you could probably just do this with uh, a couple of bifiler coils and not do it this way. I just what I had on hand was this, and you can see that I've just got one uh, one coil driving the rotor, and the other coils are sensors, and it's just wired up in a strange way. And I don't recommend doing this. I'd go a different direction if I was going to do this again, but this is what I had on hand, and I just wired it up like this. Uh, what I wanted to do was get uh, about 3 volts coming into it um, and then come out with about 64, 65 to replicate what that guy was showing on his video. And I really would like to build one like his, not this, but anyway this is uh, the circuit that I used on my particular setup. It's one transistor, a 2 in 222, uh, one switching diode, a 1 in uh, 914. I had a big capacitor here like he did, a 250 volt, one uh, microfarad. And then the neon flashes when this reaches about 64, 65 volts. And that's what's happening there. Is when this thing fills up to about that, then it triggers the neon to flash. And that uh, simulated what he was showing. Um, like I say, the, the way I would do this again, if I if I'd taken some more time, is just wire these up uh, differently and not like this but this is exactly how I had it in the video I showed uh, yesterday and that's the circuit and uh, I'm lid motor and it's the 26th of August 2011 summer's almost gone here it is and like I say it's is I would do this differently again I would just make a couple of bifinar coils and set it up differently but uh, this is uh, exactly what I showed in the last video and here's the battery source. I'll just hook it up here. I can. And there she goes. And that's the voltage coming out. Tailpipe out of the end. And like I say, the reason it's doing that is the neon is flashing. Every time it gets up to a certain voltage, uh, this neon just triggers the discharge out of that capacitor. Otherwise, it would go higher. But uh, this is running on a couple of double A's. I don't know if you can hear that or not. As I showed yesterday, it's about uh, 2,700 RPM on this setup. I actually got it running last night on just one of those batteries. It just runs slower, but it would actually flash the neon. But anyway, that was, that's the setup that I showed the other day, uh, yesterday. And uh, this is the circuit diagram of it. And I don't recommend you do it this way. Just uh, set it up in such a way that you have a trigger coil and a drive coil and uh, have this transistor turning it on and off. And you notice I didn't have a base resistor here. I'm just running it straight into the transistor. Um, surprised it's still alive. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, being triggered right off of that trigger coil set up there. And I guess there's enough impedance in all these coils that I'm getting away with it. And that be maybe why this is working is there's so much impedance with all these trigger coils that uh, it's not frying the transistor. But uh, that's the circuit. That's uh, several people wanted to know what it was, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.